Dear Mr. President Dahl, dear EPP family members, friends, it's a great pleasure and responsibility to be here today in Malta and discuss the future of Europe. We are only 700 kilometers away from Rome, where European Union leaders came together in 1957 to sign the treaties laying the foundation for the European Union. All these years, the European Union has been built step by step for the peace and prosperity of, of, of its citizens. Europe has faced various crises, but always has found the answers on its way to become stronger, because the European Union has constantly changed. Regrettably, we face the reality of Brexit today, and the 60th anniversary of the Treaty of Rome has come an uncomfortable time for the European Union, as Britain has triggered Article 50. Dear friends, as we discuss how to secure Europe's future and our values, democracy, freedom, solidarity, those we cannot and should not take for granted. Europe per se does not secure our future. It is us who have to take responsibility for the future of Europe to overcome the unprecedented challenge, changing demographics, migration, and even economic recovery and Brexit. And first, we need to answer some burning questions. Are we ready, willing, and able to do more together? For Latvia and my political party, Unity, the answer is crystal clear. Those who want more should do more. It is a scenario we've chosen from the five options offered by President Juncker. And within it, we see developing coalition of billing, particularly important in three areas. First, the Enhanced Economic and Monetary Union, a Eurocore of Europe. Then Security Union, which joined border management and tightly linked law enforcement. And third, the Defence Union, a strong European pillar of NATO. In these areas, my political party is committed to champion within coalition of billing. Together, we can also solve the common challenges of uneven economic recovery and populism. Every centre-right party in Europe has stuck with these problems, and Latvia is not an exception. My political party and we all have a hard work ahead to understand changing values of people and to learn how to address them. And this brings me to the elephant in the room, Brexit. We are not happy to see our British friends leaving, and many of my fellow Latvians express the overwhelming hope that Britain will remain as a vital partner and special friend of our union. Dear members who are leading the negotiations, a sole divorce bill is not our goal. I wish to all the skill and wisdom to arrive to a strong and mutual beneficial post-nuptial agreement. We can progress in exit talks without an understanding about future economic and trade relations. This is why we insist on simultaneous talks about the Separation Act and subsequent European Union-UK relations agreement. Dear friends, I would once again highlight the importance of staying, uh, staying united. The deep level of integration we have achieved is a proof that the European Union is a success story, and it's in our hands to keep it that way. For Latvians, achieving European unity is not just a value, but an obligation written to your, in our constitution. The national poet of Latvia, Rhinis, has said, those who change will endure. I am sure that we responsible European politicians can make the Union to become stronger again and can serve for our peace and prosperity for our nations. Only together. Thank you.